Hi everyone, it's NXFlow here and um, just wanted to give you my thoughts on the um, Aston Villa against United game that just happened. Um, I mean, like, I didn't think our performance was actually that good today. I think it was kind of, I think especially in the first half, I feel like our pace was a bit lacking and our passing wasn't great. And I remember there was one, one chance that Matic gave the ball away and they had a free kick. I think I think Bruno got I think Bruno fouled their player after I think that ball was I think Matic probably did get fouled but you can't be this is why I don't really I'm not a huge fan of like United passing out of the back because I mean I don't think our I think Maguire and Lindelof are good defenders with their ball at their feet but it's just I don't know like we I feel like we, I always say like we I feel like we're like trying to copy what City does which is just basically you know Basically, basically, what City does is just pass the ball into the net. So, I don't think that's what United should do. But I mean, it's been working recently. But I mean, I think today was a bit shaky, and I was really surprised of Villa's um attack, because I thought I thought they were gonna defend the game, but in the end, I think they were actually pretty. They were, I think, I think they were actually on the front foot. Um, like their pre pressing was really good. I was really surprised at that, and um, I think Grealish didn't have the best game, but um, maybe 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 Ole told him that you know since you're coming to United, you know, uh, you, you don't have to perform. But no, I think in all seriousness, I I think yeah, Grealish didn't have a terrific game. I think McGinn was actually a little bit better than him to be honest. Cause I think I don't know why they didn't take Grealish off because he looked a bit tired in the end, and he got a free kick. I think. Um, well, he no, he got plenty of free kicks in the game, but and um, it was a funny moment at the end of the game where I think Fred fouled him, and then um, and then later, like um, John Moss booked Fred, and then and then like, and the commentators like Peter Drury and Jim Beglin were like so confused because like there was a then you know how they do a replay. And then the replay was Fred putting the ball out for a corner or something. I, I can't remember. And then they're like, wait, what's going on? Why did Fred get booked for that? No, I, I think they didn't realize how Fred fouled Grealish. It was pretty obvious that. And that was also we giving the ball away, too. I mean, it was just, I don't understand why we pass it around in the back. Was it? I don't, I don't remember. But I don't I don't like us, like, pass, passing it around. Especially when the team is high pressing. It's just, it's not great. But... Um, yeah, I mean that's my overall thoughts. I think we did we did uh, quite well. I think at some parts, but it's just not it's not a terrific performance. But I think all we need is, is th the three points anyway. Um, so because this is my first time recording a, uh, well, pretty much my first time recording a YouTube video, so like the lighting isn't great, and um, you know, apologize for that, but. Um, yeah, in general, I think we did. I think the result was very good. I I think my man of the match was probably Anthony Martial actually, because I thought he was, especially the second goal where we we pretty much killed the game with that. That was a brilliant run by. I thought that Martial took the ball. I think he turned Mings and then just, you know, slipped it to. I think was it Greenwood? I I don't remember, but he slipped into someone. Then he got it back and then he passed to Greenwood, which I mean Mason Greenwood. He's this dude is younger than me, and he's just brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he has now like one less than Wayne Rooney, Brian Kidd, and George Best. I think in the the teenagers like scoring for United. Um, I think previously, I mean, he has got sixteen, and the the other three got seventeen, which I think Greenwood probably could break that this season. But you know, I I don't really I don't want to really put pressure on this kid because he is a kid and. He, He's only 18 and you know we don't need to put any pressure on him but yeah as all they said i think he's just a brilliant brilliant player and um i mean you can't really ask for anything more and uh but to the people that we say oh we don't need Jaden sancho i mean that's just that's just kind of ridiculous i mean um greenwood is not a right winger and we need a winger and you know Jaden Sancho fits the bill perfectly, but I don't understand people that say, "Oh, we don't need um, we don't need Jaden Sancho after Greenwood." But I mean, that's that's not how it works, and it's just kind of, I know, I know, I know people. I think some people are just saying that 
But I think actually there are a couple, you know, United fans that act that genuinely think we don't need um, Sancho, and it's kind of ridiculous. The media is feeding it a little bit. They were saying how, um, oh, uh, like well, when Sancho comes and stuff, <clears throat> how is it gonna, how is he gonna fit in with the rest of the squad? And it's like, isn't and then people are like, oh, Greenwood is playing so well. Like, you know, I'm 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 just like that's. That's all part of the. If you want to win the league, you don't buy. You don't just stop and let one player do his thing. What if like our front three, one of them gets injured? You know, then all you have is really Gallo and James. So you you still lack another attacker. So we we definitely need a, a right winger, and I think Jaden Sancho would probably be really well. But we don't need to really talk about that for this game. But I just think that people are just going over the top with their. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't need uh, Sancho because we got Greenwood. I mean, come on, what a ridiculous thing to say. I mean, that's just, I know it's jokes on here and there, but yeah, we shouldn't try to feed the media because the media sometimes, you know, might take jokes seriously. And yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. And yeah, anyway, I'm probably going to give my player rating, ratings. I don't really know what to do, what to say or anything else. I mean, I thought we did... We controlled the game really well in the second half. I think first half was definitely we looked a bit out of control for twenty minutes, and then we got a penalty. Which, oh yeah, on the penalty incident, I know people say it's not a pen, and I think looking back, it was a bit harsh. But I mean, the thing is, if VAR didn't overturn it, then they must have felt that you know Bruno got fouled. Which I mean, I guess. He stepped on, um, was it House, the player? I don't remember, but he stepped on House, really. So, I mean, you could you could give the free kick the other way. But, yeah, it's it's a light penalty. And in the end, it, you know, in the end, it doesn't really matter because we, I mean, I think after the penalty, well, not really after the penalty, after the second goal, we controlled the game. So, I think the penalty was just a moment that helped us, but it didn't you know, help us like massively because in the end it, we, it was a 3-0, it was a 3-0 game. So yeah, I thought it would have been 2-0 today, but yeah, I mean, with our defense, I think we didn't need, we I didn't think we were going to concede today, but you always know in the Premier League, not, you know, anything could happen. So, and so probably going to talk about the player ratings. So, and what I really liked about this game also, we had four player, uh, not four players, um, the team sheet was unchanged for four games. So I, I like that. Uh, I hope, I think the next game, maybe we need a couple changes, but I think the way we're playing, we have to, I think we have to win. The, the problem is we have to win all the rest of the games. It's not like, oh, you can rest one or two and then, you know, we got to draw, it's fine. But no, we, we have to win all the games to have to get top four. So, um, at the moment, at the moment, I think Leicester will probably drop points again, but, you know, at the moment, we need all wins, so, yeah. So, let me go back on the player ratings. So, De Gea, I mean, he didn't really have anything to do, so probably a six. I mean, um, yeah, he didn't really, I, he had, like, like, one shot on target, I remember, from Aston Villa. That, that That's it. Um, Juan Bisaka. See, I actually didn't think it was his best game today, but I think he defended okay. Um, I think he got forward quite a bit. He should have scored. He should have scored actually. Aaron should have scored. But now was it? I think. See, I think he actually it was a difficult header for me. I know, like he probably should have scored that anyway. But for me, it was a it wasn't an easy header. So I mean, I would still give him a seven. And he also f- fouled someone in the first half. Um, which wasn't like him at all. He, I think he got yellow carded for it too. So I still give him a seven though, because I think he supported the attack well and defended okay, but it didn't, there wasn't really anything to defend. I think, yeah. V- Victor Lindelof, I give a seven. I give a seven. I think, I think Victor Lindelof and Maguire, I think both get sevens. They were a bit sloppy with their passing sometimes. I think they were like, they missed one or two, I think in the first half, but then they got really hold of the game. I think Maguire's passing in the second half was pretty good. And um, Victor's, um, I mean, I think Victor and Maguire still lacks a bit of pace. And it's the, I think the problem with Victor is just that he plays really well. I really love his style of defending, but it's just sometimes you just have to, you know, 
run to keep up with your with the striker and he he isn't slow he definitely isn't slow but he's just i don't know it's hard for victor because i think he probably has been the better of the center backs since uh we came back from lockdown but yeah i mean they didn't really have anything to do really i mean yeah they missed last past a couple passes but you know overall they were fine um Oh yeah, there was a moment where Victor just in the first half where he uh, made a miss. I think he miscontrolled it, and then Villa got the attack on their left hand side. Was it in the second half or in the first half? No, it was in the first half. So that wasn't great, but overall I would say a seven for Victor and seven for Harry as well. They were they were pretty solid. Um, Luke Shaw. So Luke Shaw, I think, I think he deserves probably an eight in this game because you know he put in that cross for Bruno to score the header and Bruno missed which I don't even know how but yeah he could he should have getting eight but the thing is he missed pa- pa- past that one ridiculous ball in the first half too at the end of the game where he didn't need to do that just I don't know like sometimes our players just don't want to put the ball out of play like ahead of them they always want to try to pass it back and then you know I don't I don't like United trying to pass it around the back because we're, we're I, I don't think our I don't think see I think our defenders are maybe good enough to do it, but it's just we do it too much. And it's just kind of annoying. So I think Luke would have probably gotten the eight if Bruno scores the header. And I know it's not Luke's fault, but you don't you you don't get recorded on your stats. So for me it's a for me he gets a seven because he misplaced that pass, which I thought was ridiculous. I don't know why he why he did that. But overall he got forward really well. I think he yeah, like I think the I think in the last few minutes he was literally in the center box <laughs> with Igalo trying to score. It was really funny, but yeah, I think Luke Shaw's attacking game now has really improved a lot. And um, yeah, and I think a seven. I think it's probably yeah. I got I gave sevens all across the back four, which you know they probably deserve because you know they got a clean sheet. Um, Matic. I think Matic deserves a probably a seven two. You could give a six because I think his he he did give away that ball in the first half and he was I think he was just a bit above average today. He, I think he held the ball well and you know it was a typical it was just a normal average performance. So I guess you could give a six, but um, I guess would give him a six point five because I thought I didn't think he would, he did too much too many things wrong too many things right either. It was just a and he also came off early so uh, he had a yellow card so I think six point five. It's probably was right. Um, Pogba. So I think I would probably give Pogba an, a 7.5 or an 8 because he, you know, he scored that uh, wonder. I mean, it wasn't a, really a wonder goal. It was a, it was a typical, it was a typical finesse shot, I think. But it was, it was still a needed goal, I think. Well, no, it wasn't needed, but it's needed for his confidence and everything. And it was a Bruno assist again. So, and uh, he still... I think in the first half was he was a bit um, missing. I think like I think that that is part of the problem with playing deep. You sometimes don't get the service, and I mean, well, you don't get any service when you're playing deep. But you know what I mean. Like he doesn't he he didn't really do anything, and I don't know. I think Villa was really focused on attacking on the on their like kind of fullbacks for some reason, and also their wingers. Obviously, they got Al Ghazi and you know. And sometimes McGinn goes out there, but yeah. So I, it, there wasn't too many things for Pogba to do defensively or or attacking wise in the first half. So, but he's in the second half. He in the second half. I remember a couple couple of runs where Rashford should have scored two in the last uh, couple of minutes. So I I probably give Pogba an eight, honestly. Yeah, and Greenwood. Well, see Greenwood, he's just brilliant. I already mentioned him. He's just brilliant. Probably gets an just for that finish. I mean, he probably gets an eight. You can't you can't fault anything else. I mean, what what, what can he do? I think he misplaced misplaced one pass in the whole game. Um, and um, his shot is brilliant. There was a first half shot by Rain uh where Reina saved too. I thought that was going in. It was like the first time I've seen this season where a goalkeeper stopped a near post shot from Green. But it, I mean, it wasn't really near post because he was centrally, so he could uh, win either way. But give 
green with eight. I mean, that, and that strike killed the game. So, yeah. And um, Bruno, I mean, th see, this is where I'm going to be a l little bit harsh. I'm going to only give him a seven. Um, I think most people probably give him an eight again, but he wasn't good in the first half. For me, he just wasn't good in the first half. Um, I know he got us the penalty where, you know, it was very controversial. Yeah, probably could have been overturned. Um, missed a header where, I mean, he should have scored. He put a little bit too much pace on it. I mean, he, he could have just glanced at it, I think. Um, he didn't have a great first half. In the second half, he got the assist. So I think if Bruno scored that header and got the assist in the second half, he'd probably get an eight. But for me, he, he wasn't, and he misplaced so many passes in the first half. So, and I know attackers do that, but I, it wasn't that it was definitely not the best day for him, but he still gets a seven, which just shows how good he is. And, um, yeah, we don't need to go into Bruno. He's just a, he's a transformation at this club. Um, Transform this club. And then Rashford. I mean, I think Rashi probably does get a seven, but, and his passing, oh my goodness. Marcus Rashford's passing recently has been absolutely brilliant. I don't even know how, but he's been brilliant. Passing wise, I mean, there was, I think there was another one where he, I mean, he shot, there There was one shot where he scored and, you know, Pogba was offside and then, this is, I mean, it's annoying, but what can you do, Pogba? I think he did touch it, so, I mean, it's offside. You know, an offside player can't touch the goal. T can't c touch the ball, and it goes in, so. Um, Marcus Rashford's passing today is absolutely a top notch. Um, he's really improved his passing. He apparently can't shoot right now, and every time Luke uh, forward, he passed it to Luke Shaw, which is the right thing to do for me, so. Decision-making really good. Um, sometimes it sometimes still lacks a bit of sharpness we can see and but yeah i say a 7 or 7.5 if you want to be a little bit generous but yeah marcus rashford's overall play today was 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 good it was good um and um but not as i, I think not as green not as good as green was performance today yeah and then uh, for finally we get martial which i i'm probably gonna see i was gonna give him a nine but then no i was gonna give him an eight but the way he looked so angry when he came off, I'm probably gonna give him a nine just for that. I mean, that that hunger to score is absolutely brilliant. And love how when Rashford was taking the free kick in the at the end of the game, <laughs> Martial's just like, don't score this. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I think Martial was absolutely brilliant. And the second goal I said, kill the game. So, um, and he, he, he made that goal for me. He got the assist for Greenwood too. Absolute brilliant hold up play. Even before the goal, he was good. Uh, absolute brilliant. I give him a nine, and he is obviously the man of the match because he gets the highest player ratings. Um, yeah, and that's it. And of course, today is. If you guys don't know, it's my birthday. It's my nineteenth birthday. Birthday, and United delivered that, so it's quite nice. First half, I was a bit nervous, but once we got the second, there was really no way back. So, yeah, happy birthday to both my well. All three my mom my dad and i uh myself because we yeah we are all we're all born on the same day <laughs> uh july 9th it is but yeah it's been a it's been a good day um and obviously it's my first youtube video talking about united um i've i've got a twitter account if you guys want to check it out i'll put it probably in the link below but yeah this video probably won't come out until tomorrow which is the 10th because you know sometimes editing and it's dinner time for me so i need to go and um, help my dad make dinner and um so yeah and i live in the united states so yeah i have to go and make dinner and have a good happy birthday but yeah i mean overall it was a good game i didn't think didn't think villa were really in it um after 20 minutes really they they really got i mean they, they were tired they looked tired to me too but their pressing was impressive in the first half and um yeah overall it was a it wasn't a great result but i mean it was a great result but it wasn't a good it wasn't a great performance but that is all we all we need is three points so that's it and um yeah i'm probably gonna sign out um and i'll see if i can upload this video today but probably not and uh, tomorrow i've also got a annual physical coming up so maybe it will come out maybe two days after but 
hopefully that maybe that and then by then probably will be too late for everyone to check this video but I, I don't i don't really care and it's only my personal thoughts i don't expect to too many viewers anyway it's just my first video and i've been thinking of making a youtube um for quite a while now but i mean i've always been personally recording and acting there's a audience but you know it's actually different but all right i'm just a bit and carry on too much i'm starting to blabber okay so um yeah um anyway i'm gonna sign out and uh, of course it's nx4 here and all my thoughts are just all probably most of them are opinions some of the facts maybe not most um, probably all of them are opinions and um you can take it whatever whatever you like and for me anthony marshall gets man of the match brilliant performance for him for him overall as a team wasn't so good but Anyway, and uh, it's NX4 here, and it's uh, obviously a non-professional uh, fan just watching United play and giving his thoughts. So yeah, uh, our next game is against Southampton, which um, I usually just, I'm probably going to only make reaction videos after the game and just give my final thoughts, but maybe I'll make a video prior to the game, but I don't think I will, and I don't think I think for res at least for the rest of this season, I think I will only make reaction videos, and um, yeah, so and um, of course, um, you know, just continue to enjoy your day, and uh, hope everyone has a good day, and that was a great result for United, and I'm probably gonna enjoy the goals a little bit now, cause you know, and enjoy the commentary a little bit. It was a pretty good game. Oh uh, yeah, and if you guys are wondering where. Uh, what what one, one number is in the back is number twenty so sure. So, I mean, yeah, just a little random fact. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the game and um, hopefully United can beat Southampton. And uh, hopefully I can upload this video soon. But now I can go and enjoy my birthday, which of course I'd hope that um it would never happen again. Well, hopefully we don't have a United game ever on my birthday because. That would mean something horrible happened to the world, like our pandemic. But yeah, hopefully next time um, we'll beat Southampton and we can get the three points and that's all we need, really. Signing out, it's NX Flow. And um, if you want to, of course, continue to follow me, just subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See you.